As Mr. Abernethy commented in reading the psalm, this is one of the songs of degrees believed to be sung when the children of Israel were traveling up for the feasts that took place three times a year in Jerusalem. And they were singing these psalms as they progressed towards uh, the city where the temple was located. The particular psalm that we are thinking of uh, is Psalm 126, uh, deals with the past, the present, and the future. There's inspiration from the past because it speaks in the first few verses of the Lord turning again the captivity of Zion. And we do not know what great deliverance is referred to. It may be deliverance from Egypt. It may have been the time when David defeated Goliath. Or it may have been when the angel of the Lord slew 185,000 of Sennacherib's army from Assyria. Or it could have been some other occasion. And when it happened, it happened so unexpectedly that the children of Israel could say, we were like them the dream. What a wonderful thing. It happened. They felt it was like a dream. How could that have taken place so quickly that now we are delivered from our enemies? And the wonderful thing is, while it appeared at first like a dream, it was no dream. It was real. As I thought about that, I thought about the fact that when we reach heaven, those of us who are saved, it will be like a dream. You may have been lying on a bed of sickness breathing out your last, uh, maybe in difficulties and trials, and the next moment you're in the glory of heaven. And for perhaps a few seconds or a few minutes, uh, it might seem like a dream, and then you'll realize it's true. 